Hi, I'm Mark Palmquist. I'm a woodworker, a cabinet maker. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to edge band. Um, so we're going to edge band one of these edges. Um, so what I do is I stick it in a vise like this, grab the edge band material like this. I overhang it on one end about the thickness of my finger and then I snap it on the other end like that. And now I'm going to slide it from center, hold it with one hand, grab an iron. Now this iron is about as high as it goes. Um, I don't really know what temperature that is, but it's generally cotton is the right temperature or, or close to this, the highest setting. All right, so this uh, edge band has hot melt glue on it. It takes a couple seconds to melt. So notice how I'm going and I'm rocking back and forth. What this does is it makes sure that you're getting the edges. Okay, and then I'm gonna rock it that way just a hair and then that way just a hair. Let me just do it one more time. Okay. Now, sometimes these things like to curl up on you and come off. So what I'm doing is I'm burnishing it, which is almost like it's basically just pushing it towards the wood while the glue is, is getting back to room temperature and hardening. You don't want to push down on the edge too much because it could crack the veneer. So I'm just kind of running it off the edge like that. All right. So after about 30 seconds, um, you can trim the edges first. That's the first thing I do. If you don't trim the edges first and you just trim the sides first, then you could end up tearing the, the ends. So I just flip it over. It usually takes three passes. Like that. Back in the rice. Now there's two ways to trim it. There's um, the old traditional method, which is this. You can also use a, a, a file. This is this uh, this is a veneer saw, I believe. Um, and then there's this thing called fast cap. They make this thing. It's actually designed to go. It's double edged, so you can kind of go like this and squeeze and go from one end to the other. The problem with this is. A lot of times there's a grain direction and it's it's like at an angle. So you want to read the grain and go direction of the grain one side at a time. So I just take this and separate it. So the grain is going this way. So that means I'm going to start here and go that way. One pass usually does it. And then on this side I have to go the other way because you don't want to rip the grain. You want to pull the grain. Um, oops. So, there we go. All right. So now you'll notice that it's still proud. So what I do is I just use a, a, a random orbit sander and I just hold it like about midway like that. I, I don't round it over with this. I just hold it flat and just go edge to edge a couple times. <laughs> Now you, you can also hit it like this, but this is kind of unstable and it could end up rounding. So I don't normally do that. The best thing to do is to grab a sanding block. I, I like using a hard piece of wood with like one of these. These things last a lot longer than regular sandpaper. These will last 45 minutes. Sandpaper lasts about five minutes. So you just wrap it around a block. Go like that. Go like that. And then make sure it's not sticking out on the edge, usually. And then always use your finger because your finger can feel thousands of an inch. Your eye can only see maybe a 32nd of an inch. So your hand is much, it's a much better 
um, way of seeing if it's flush and that's basically it.